Well, if you drove through Clearwater today and saw a real live flamingo, your eyes were not deceiving you. The birds are here in the Bay Area, and that is all thanks to Hurricane Adalia. News Channel 8's Jack Royer joins us now in studio with the Category 4. That storm blew in the birds, is that right? Yeah, it's kind of weird to think about, but it is true. Flamingos in Florida seem to go hand in hand, right? But the birds, believe it or not, aren't actually native to the Tampa Bay Area anymore. So when they popped up in local waterways the past few days, bird watchers took notice. It's hard to avoid flamingos in Florida. From lottery tickets to the Tampa airport, where Phoebe welcomes you home. Now the birds are tourists in the Bay Area themselves. <laughs> Great for birders all around. Suzanne Lamore drove up from Bradenton when she heard a flamboyance had flocked to Fort DeSoto Beach. Oh, it's amazing. It's just, you can't, there's nothing like it. I don't even go to the zoos because if I don't see them in the wildlife, it's just not the same. Hurricane Adalia blew past the Bay Area, and with the winds came the pink birds, lofted further north than their typical South Florida and Caribbean homes, making the best day for birders looking for the perfect flamingo photo. Here was the flamingo back on the beach with so close, such beautiful colors, really nice to see. And it's not just here. Reports of the waterfowl washing up as far north as Ohio, all thanks to Adalia. It's always amazing when you can make that connection with an animal out in the wild and see a species that you're not used to seeing. Uh, but always, you know, you always want to be respectful of the species. All these birders wanted was a first-hand view of the flamingos with their eyes and their cameras. It was very exciting because I've never seen one here before. So, it was, I mean, I don't have a huge lens like some of the other photographers, but I still think I was able to get pretty decent shots. Look pretty decent to me. Zoo Tampa, though, has plenty of flamingos for you to visit when these return to their native habitats further south over the coming weeks. Bird watchers we talked to say they spotted some with tags on them today, tracing them as far as the Yucatan Peninsula. Jack Royer, 8 on your side.